Hey guys, we get a lot of questions from you guys. What to do with the X-Rite color checker? Well, in essence, it's incredibly simple. As you can see here, Rosa holds the color checker in front of her face. Now, it's incredibly important that this area of the color checker, so the one where you can see X-Rite color checker, is totally open. So, no fingers in front of these squares. But it's also important that you use a flat lighting, as flat as possible. Big softbox, doesn't matter, but use it flat. So in other words, if you're setting up a shot with, for example, a Fresnel or with a gridded beauty dish, make sure that the color checker is as flat as possible towards the light source. So you can use any light source you want. You actually have to use the light source that you're shooting with. And now the only thing you have to do, of course, first you have to install the software, but let's say you have done that, of course, is go to File, go to Export, and then go to your X-Rite presets and choose Color Checker Passport. Now just give it a name, in this case, for example, Rosa. And then very simply say Export. And in all honesty, that's about it. You can now see on top that it's processing the profile. It's now literally finding the color checker and creating that profile that's so important for, well, the accurate colors, of course. So let's run this through. And the higher the resolution, of course, it can, can take a while for the process to be done. Okay, there we go. The profile has been generated successfully. Lightroom must be restarted. That sounds easy. So let's close this. And let's open Lightroom again. Okay, now we're on the same picture. And now what you do is you go to your develop module. And in the develop module, all the way at the bottom, you find something that's called camera calibration. Now let's zoom in a little bit on this so you can actually see what's happening. Okay, so we have camera calibration. Now normally that's on Adobe standard. Now what I always do is I will go to my white balance and I will just select my white balance. There we go. That's already a big difference, right? Now you go to Adobe Standard and what you actually do is you select Rosa. And there we go. So that's a huge difference as you can see between Adobe Standard and then Rosa. And this is especially, it depends a little bit per camera, but it can be a huge difference. So I hope on YouTube and on the video you can also see this. There's a huge difference. And now the only thing you have to do is just select the images you shot under this light condition. So in this case, all these images. And just say sync. And at that point you have to make sure, of course, that your calibration is also synced. And then just synchronize. And now all these images will have the correct color and will of course have that color profiling set. And that's actually about it. There's no magic, there's nothing more. So accurate colors and of course proper white balance. You can do it all with Color Checker Passport from X-Rite.